Welcome back, guys. Elfuego here for WildPetBattle.com, continuing our WOD showcase. Up next, it's Quintessence of Light. So grab your unborn Valkyr and let's get to work. This fight is really all about aligning the damage up so they all resolve when Howl's up towards the end. So you want to start off with that uh, Shadow Shock and from there move into a second Shadow Shock. Now here is where the alignment begins. You actually want to pass the round so we can get everything to line up towards the end. Uh, as Quintessence comes in with those Fire Quills, she's going to end the Unborn Valkyr, so make sure you use your Unholy Ascension here. With Ascension up, that's going to give 25% additional damage for the next 9 rounds, and with the Unborn Valkyr's final round, you want to apply Doom. As the Valkyr goes down, we're going to move into the Pandaren Water Spirit. Our first move is going to be Geyser, that's going to set a 3 round Ticking Bomb. Uh, from there, you want to make sure you utilize the Whirlpool. That's going to be a two-round bomb ticking down, and they're going to align with Doom and the Howl that we're coming up next with Chromineus. And now all that's left to do is pop that Howl. That's going to give you two rounds of damage increase, and all those bombs that we laid earlier are now going to all go off in succession and bring her very low. And I never thought I'd actually say this, guys, but with a final surge of power, Quintessence gets owned! And that concludes the Quintessence of Light strategy guide. We're always creating new content, so check our channel for updates. I'm El Fuego for WildPetBattle.com.